Okay. Yeah, I sat here thinking, I was like, nigga, dreadlocks on that shit. what the fuck should I put? I was like, I'm putting too much thought into this. It's not fun anymore. Sitting here like, bro, what name should I put? It's a goddamn horse. Call it shit and tell her to get here. <laughs> but, I mean, you get... I, I've got attached to my horse because, like, in the story, like, I stole my horse, like, and, like, it was a badass horse, just like a war horse, like, they got, like, different levels of horses, you know, and, like, each one's more expensive and shit. Yeah, I, I ain't made it that far, so I wouldn't even know the difference. This shit's sick, because, like, like, you go, like, you collect these debts and shit for this guy that uh, you work for, or not work for, but he, like, lives at the camp. Yeah, so you real collect these debts and shit for him. So you go around and like, you go to this guy and like he's poor as shit. I think, I think his wife just died. Like he's like French or some shit like that. Like you walk in and it gives you like you know you gotta take like I think it was like forty bucks or some shit like that worth of shit because he didn't have any money. So you like walk around the house and you start stealing shit, like taking shit out of drawers. Then like a walk outside. I'm like, I'm looking at him, he's like, he's got a barn over there. I was like, I walked in the barn, and then there's a fucking a war horse just sitting there and shit. And he's like going crazy, like I tamed it, and I was like, I calmed it down, and then I just sat on it and rode it, and I rode it for a long ass time. And then like that whole night, I probably played for 12 hours that day. Like, and that horse was with me and my other horse. I'm trying to figure out a way to do it, but again, like, you could just get a temporary horse. And you could ride with two horses. That means... I was picking up like double the deer and shit. Like I'd throw a deer on fucking my one horse, throw another deer on that horse, and I get close to camp. I maybe shoot another horse and fucking carry or shoot another fucking deer and carry that bitch in with me. And, like have three deer and I was like walking around for the longest, so I was like, man, I was like I fucking love this horse. I ended up like it got stuck, like if you get far too far away and you can't call it back. Cause it can't hear you and shit. And I'm like, man, I'm like, I'm fucking far. Like, I'm like two slightly. Like, it, it's at least a good half hour fucking just, you know, like, yeah. ride. <laughs> it's, it's retarded, bro. <laughs> so, bro, like, imagine, I, I, I didn't, like, know, I was I like, didn't know how to call the horse till today, bro. Last night, I'm telling you, I played online for like two hours, bro. And I'd kill somebody and I'd take off running, bro. And this nigga would play shit on this fucking horse. And be like, son of a bitch. Shoot him out again, boom, 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 and take off. And then you come running on this goddamn horse. You just gotta take care of your horse and shit. Like, like they give you one, like, and you like, and it's easier to get game horses, I guess. Like, you can just go out and like catch a horse, like a wild horse. Yeah, so that's even the hardest fuck to catch. Like. I almost caught one on the online, and it was the white Arabian horse, which is like the, the hardest horse, one of the hardest horses to get. Uh, I fucking ran, ran away, and then like Joe was waiting for me. I was like, man, there's a fucking white horse over here. But well, this is where you gotta go get food. I'm, I'm loading this, man. The one black dude, but like, or whatever his know. name is, Ho Hosea. Yeah, Hosea. Hey, can you mute the? Uh... Thought I did. Mute the broadcast. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill? It ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. <sighs> Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. 
I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just like to think back on it. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <sighs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Some of the ground uncovered here. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, it won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. Uh, careful. There's deer been here recently. How can you tell? Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. No, use the... the bow I gave you. That'll make too much noise. Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. You see the tracks? Uh, I think so. Maybe not. Focus. Try to stay low. Stop running. You're making too much noise. Wait, look. There they are. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick. Good shot. Now let's try for another. Done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hand's okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. 
Okay. I'll go grab the other one. Head back. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what that? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. And that girl from the ranch now, too. But... Not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would, too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Oh. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? We ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out! Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. He must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. now? Five, six months? Something like that? But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess.
Being up here? Oh, watch it. Ah, uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. <laughs> Nature of life. And I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone. No... Oh. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch... You know... Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. <laughs> How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Drop some food back, boys! Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? <coughs> Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. Oh, 
boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess... I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> <What a party. laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard! You wanna sit around wait for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Folks been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como O'Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now, you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this core of their planet. That. Tracks. Horses, quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Gentlemen, this is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go.
There they are. Uh, that's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You two, get up there and keep us covered. You got it, Dutch. Are you hearing me? You're going to need that rifle. circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. Deep here. Careful. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. So we got everything we need. We have to move on this right now. How soon? 
Okay, I'll go first. from them. Do you recognize any of them, Dutch? Of course not. Colm doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun and ride a horse and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Colm doesn't even know half the names of these fools.
have time to mess around. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. <laughs> Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and out. They can pummel us as hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Make some ground! Leave him to me. 